So for the past few weeks, I've been doing my continued research on decision trees. So this is going to be part two uh, of the decision tree video that is paired with part one. Specifically in this video, we'll be taking a look at how decision trees split their data. On the right hand side, you see just a normal decision tree. But the problem is how do we know when to split and how to split? For example, how do we know that we should split on age? How do we know we should split on tier production rate or spectacle prescription? There are way mathematical ways to calculate whether a split is preferred or not in a decision tree. So the, there are four main ways of splitting data. The four main ways are information gain, Gini impurity, chi-squared, and reduction in variance. The first three are specifically used for categorical target variables. Basically, these are variables that are labels instead of numerical values. For example, when we want to classify fruits, we get specific labels such as the color of the fruit, how much, um, whether it tastes good or not. Uh, the last way of splitting data is reduction in variance, which is specific to continuous target variables, basically numerical values. So let's say we want to predict whether a person will get diabetes, we'll get data such as their weight and their age, which are both numerical values. So we use reduction in variance to split that data. So this is going to be the master data. I created this data based on the Titanic Kaggle activity. Basically on the left hand side, you can see that I've split the data using an age split. Um, there are some people below 65 year old, years old that has survived and some that has died. And there are also that, uh, some people with above 65 years old that have died and have survived. On the right hand side of the picture, you can see that I've split the data based on gender. So you can see that there are some females and some males that have both died and survived. Uh, I suggest you take a screenshot of this as it will be referred to a lot throughout the entire video. So the first way of splitting data is called information gain. Information gain has the formula of one minus entropy. And entropy has the formula of negative, the probability of the first attribute, times log two, the probability of that same attribute, minus the probability of the second attribute times log to the probability of that second attribute all the way until you finish the entire attribute, the entire set of data for that specific split. So for the goal, our goal here is to try to find the split that provides the most homogeneous set of data. That holds true not just for information gain, but for all splits for decision trees. So specifically for information gain, a higher information gain, gain means more homogeneous nodes. Basically, our goal here is to try to find the split with the highest information gain. So to your right of the to the right of the picture, we can see that I've done the information gain calculations. Specifically on the split of age, for people that are below 65 years old, if you refer back to the master data, then you'll see that 50% of them survived and 50% of them died. Plugging into the entropy equation, we find that the entropy equals one. For the above 65 years old, we know that 50% of the people died as well as 50% of the people survived. So plugging into the equation again, we know that the entropy of above 65 years old is one. The next step after we calculate the specific entropy is we have to find the weighted entropy. Basically in the, in the split with below 65 years old, there are six different people. There are six people of which three died and three survived. So six out of the 10 people that was calculated had an entropy of one. For the above 65 years old data, we, there are four um, people of which two died and two survived. So four out of the 10 has an entropy of one, meaning the weighted entropy will equal one. Calculating information gain is one minus entropy, so it's one minus one, which equals zero. For the split on gender, we can see that for the male, the entropy is 0 0.72. 
I got that number because 80% of them survived while 20% of them died and plugging into the entropy equation gives me approximately 0.72. I did the same thing for the female where 20% of them died and 80% of them survived. Based, uh, sorry, 20% of them survived and 80% of them died, meaning that the entropy is also approximately 0.72. Now we use we find the weighted entropy. There are five people in each. There, there are five people in each split. So it's five out of ten times zero point seven two plus five out of ten times zero point seven two, which gives me a weighted entropy of zero point seven two. Based on the information gain formula, we know that the information gain of the split on gender is zero point two eight. Our result is that the split on gender has a higher information gain, so it's the preferred split. So when we try to decide whether we should split on gender or split on age for this specific data, then we know we will want to split on age because it provides a higher information gain. The second way we can split data in decision trees is using Gini impurity. Gini impurity has the formula of 1 minus Gini. And Gini has the formula of the probability of the first attribute squared plus the probability of the second attribute squared all the way until you have finished all the probability. Gini calculates the probability of correctly labeling a random chosen element according to the distribution of nodes. So on the right hand side, we can see the picture of, uh, of the work I did in order to get the Gini impurity of the master data. So for specifically on the split on age, uh, for people that are below 65 years old, we calculated the Gini impurity to be 0 0.5. That's 1 minus the Gini. And inside the brackets is the Gini, where I did the percent survived squared, and then the percent died squared. For people above 65 years old, we calculated the Gini impurity to also be 0 0.5, as I did the percent survived squared and the percent died squared and uh, added them together and subtracted from one. So the weighted average of Gini impurity of this split is 0 0.5 based on the calculations I've done in the picture. For the split on gender, the, uh, in the male section, we have a Gini impurity of 0 0.32 doing the same steps as the split on age. And for the female, we also have a Gini impurity of 0 0.32. So the weighted average of the Gini impurities will be 0 0.32. Now going back, we have to remember that for information gain, we have to try to find the higher the information gain, the better. But for Gini impurity, we want to find a lower Gini impurity because the Gini impurity of a pure node or homogeneous node is zero. Thus, based on our results, we know that gender has a lower Gini impurity, thus making it the preferred split. Our third way of calculating which split is better than the other would be chi-squared. Now chi-squared has the formula square root actual minus expected squared over expected. The higher the chi-squared value, the higher the homogeneity. Basically, we want a higher chi-squared value and that is going to be our preferred split. So now uh, going to the picture on the right, I did some work showing the chi-squared. Specifically for people that are below 65 years old, there are six of them, so we expect three of them to survive and three of them to die, right? So basically, based on that calculation, we have the chi-squared of below 65 years old to be zero. For people above 65 years old, there are four people, so we expect two of them to die and two of them to survive basically calculating the chi-squared to also be zero. So the calculations, when you add all the chi-squares together, you get that the chi-squared of the split on age section is zero. For split on gender, specifically the males, we have a total of five people, so we expect 2.5 of them to die and 2.5 of them to survive. Based on that data, we know that the chi-squared of males who have died and survived are both 0 0.9. For female, there are um, for female there are a total of five people that survived and five people that died. As a result, we can see that the 
chi-squared value is also 0 0.9 for both. So when we add all the chi-squared together, we can see that the split on gender has a chi-squared of 3.6. Thus, the result is that the split on gender has a higher chi-squared value, so it's the preferred split. Our last method of splitting data is reduction invariance. Reduction invariance has the formula of sigma x minus the mean squared over the number of samples. And x is the, uh, is the specific sample. So in this one, we want the variance to be low because a variance of zero equals a pure or homogeneous node. So specifically, when you take a look at the picture on the right, we can see that the split on age, specifically below 65 years old, has a variance of 1.04. And for the number of people that survived, there's also a variance of 1.04 when you plug in the correct numbers into the variance equation. Thus, when you do the sigma of both variances, you get that the variance of the split on age is 2.08. For the split on gender, there, uh, for the amount of people that died, males, then you would see that the reduction in variance is 0 0.008. And for females, you'll see that the variance is 2.048. So when you take the sigma, when you take the sum of both variances, you get that the variance is approximately 2.06. So based on these calculations, we can tell that the split on gender has a lower variance. So it's the preferred split. Now to recap everything, we can see that all the calculations gave, up the same, gave us the same results, which is that the split on gender is a better split than the split on age. And this makes sense because overall there's one split that's better than another in this specific prediction. If these calculations gave us different results, for example, let's say information gain says that split on gender is better, while chi-squared said that the split on age is better, then there would be a problem and wouldn't make sense because the split on gender can only be better than the split on age for this specific prediction. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.